out, a patient can fill out their entire medical and eye history online using Ifinity EHR. So the first thing to do um, is in your practice management system, whether you're using Ifinity Practice Management or OfficeMate with your Ifinity EHR, is to um, either create a patient or for a patient that you already have. Um, the main thing is to make sure that you have um, an email address for the to use our patient called test test here, Ifinity Practice Management. And in the demographics, we're going to make sure that we have most of the dem demographics filled out, such, such as the date of birth, and most importantly, their email address. And in Office Mate, um, in the demographics, we have their date of birth, and most importantly, we have an email here. And that information from your practice management will send over to iFinity EHR. So we're going to jump over to iFinity EHR and we're going to um, pull up our patient, Mr. Test Test. And we can now activate the patient portal. And here, this button, if you never activate it before, it'll say inactive or if it says active, if you need to resend the patient another email, um, we're gonna click this button and it's going to send the patient a link to their email of how to log in or reminding them where to log in to their patient portal. And once the patient logs into their patient portal, they can add in their own health history, eye history, et cetera. So we are now in the provider side of EHR and I'm running this one on Firefox. And now I'm going to jump over to another web browser on Chrome, and we are now pretending we're the patient. So this is the patient, test, test. They are logged in, they log into their email account, their Gmail account that we just sent that link to. So this is the patient saying, welcome to your patient portal. They're going to open up their email. And it's going to say, use the link here, and they're gonna click the link to log into the portal. So again, I am acting as the patient right now. And the patient will either, for the first time, put in their information to log in, or this patient already had a login before. So they're going to log in um, to the portal. And the patient is logging in to your Ifinity EHR. Um, they just don't have as many tabs they, they can look at. So they, they get a welcome screen. And these four main tabs up top, the appointments, if they have any upcoming appointments, video chats. And you're going to tell the patient when you make the appointment um, hey, we're going to send you an email and you can go on there and fill out your um, patient health history, fill out as much as you can before you come into the office. Um, so there's no paperwork that needs to be filled out at the office, no clipboards, and you don't even have to touch an iPad to fill out your patient history on a kiosk. So in the age of social distancing, um, everything can be done online before the patient arrives to the office. So you can tell them, click on my health and just tell them to fill out as much as they can. So these grayed out areas here are some things that they cannot change, um, some basic stuff, test, test, um, some here, but anything that's not grayed out, they can fill out. So they can put in um, their medication. This is some of the stuff that we already have on file and they can go in and add in a pharmacy if they want to. But the main thing you're going to do is add in if they have any medications, um, any health histories, so I'm going to just click a couple things. We're going to say this patient has asthma, um, diabetes, and their eye history. Um, maybe they had a cataract in the right eye and left eye. Um, social history. Um, let's see if they, they never smoked. Um, and it, they can add anything um, in here that they like. So this is the patient. They're going to go in to fill this out. Um, and this the patient is logged into your EHR on their in their in their chart. So this is all done in real time, and all this information that the patient puts in will come in to the doctor side um, when they um, pull up the patient's chart in Ifinity EHR. So we're in the patient side. We're going to um, get out of the patient side. Um, and if you want to send a patient message or anything, there's just another tab that you can send them inter um, mail. So we're gonna jump back over here
to my Firefox. And now I, I am back in as a provider. So I'm going to look up this patient test test, whether they have an exam today or I just um, want to log in the morning and see if they updated anything. And when I pull up this patient, if the patient has done anything, um, added anything into the clipboard at home online, this pop-up window comes into EHR and it tells the provider, whoever logs in, hey, the patient at home updated whatever they updated in their chart and it's for the provider to review and they can import it right into the chart. So we're gonna click the arrow in front of it, pop it down. We're gonna see what the, ad, the patient added. They added their asthma, diabetes, that's for you to review. Okay, I see all that, I'm gonna accept all that. Their ocular history, oh, the patient said they had a cataract and accept that. And the social history, they never smoke. So, and we can see we accepted them all. If um, we could reject them and say, uh, I don't really think they have asthma, you could reject it, but um, you get the idea. And then when you accept all those, you review the changes, you hit save, and the patient's history is all done online by the patient, and it's in their chart already waiting for you. And we'll go down here um, to verify um, the ocular history. You see the asthma stuff is there, and we'll see the cataract was in there. And everything the patient already did, all their ocular medical history online um, before they entered the office. And that is how a patient can fill out their medical and ocular history online with Ifinity EHR.